Let's learn about everything on the back of a computer. This is a standard desktop computer and we're going to learn about the names and some of the functions of the different things on the back of the computer. First of all, all the way over here, we have an AC power port. This is where electricity goes into the computer. Right inside the computer there is a device called the power supply. And the power supply converts the alternating current electricity coming into the computer into direct current, like battery power, that is used by all the parts on the inside of the computer. Just next to that is a greenish port that has a sawtooth, square sawtooth um, symbol on the top. This is called a serial port. Serial, in this case, is spelled S-E-R-I-A-L. A serial port is a data port where information can go in or out. This is one of the original ports used on computers to connect devices. It is also one of the oldest, and because it's so old, it's also one of the slowest ports. This device might, this port might be used from, for some very old devices. Just above that, if you look closely, there's kind of a double circle shape. And this is a, what's called a punch out. Using a screwdriver, this could be pulled out or punched out. And if the inside of the computer, if the motherboard or main board inside had a mouse port or a keyboard port, then this is where those two ports would be able to stick out. These would be, again, old style ports. And so there would be a pink one and a purple one. Currently, mouses for this computer and keyboards are plugged into the USB ports. So these ports are no longer used. So this is just a punch out. Over here, we have a monitor port, also known as a VGA, Very Good Array port. You'll notice it's blue and it has 15 holes for 15 pins that are on the cable that plug in there. Most monitors use this VGA port. There is a limitation though in that the signal that is sent, the video signal that's sent to the display can only be of a certain quality. It can be full high definition quality, but it really can't be higher than that. So it can't be a 4K display or an 8K display. It also has a limit on how much information can come out of that port, as all ports do. Right next to that, there's a little symbol here which is DP with two plus signs. That's called a display port. A display port is another kind of video port but with this video port, you can have a digital signal coming out of the computer and into the monitor. The monitor then has to convert that digital signal into the picture. This can carry a high definition 4K video signal. This is the way that it seems like monitors will be going in the future, that they will be accepting the display port rather than accepting the video VGA port. Although some monitors might have connections for both on the back. Over here you'll notice our third and our fourth USB port, which means there's probably a number one and a number two on the front of the computer. These are USB two ports, which is the second kind or the second fastest of the USB ports. Right next to there, there's a double S with a little USB symbol, and that means super speed USB. That is also indicated by the little blue on the inside. These ports can transfer information up to 10 times faster than the original USB 2 ports, the older USB 2 ports. So if you have a device that is a USB 3 device, like an external hard drive, or perhaps, perhaps a phone that accepts USB 3, you should always try to plug it in 
to a super speed USB 3 port. Next to that is our local area network port. The local area network connects to the computer network through a cable. The cable is often blue or maybe yellow and that cable can also connect to the internet through the computer network. You'll notice there's another spot where there may have been another punch out. It looks kind of like this shape, so perhaps um, at one time the designers of the back of this computer thought to themselves, perhaps there's a reason we'd have another monitor port, another VGA port there. You'll also notice another port right here, kind of looks the same as the display port size. Perhaps there was, an, again, the designer was thinking perhaps there'll be another display port or the other style of video port that's used on televisions, which is called the HDMI port, which also can carry not just a picture, but also sound. Moving over here, three audio ports. Audio ports accept a one eighth inch audio device. We have a microphone port, which is indicated in pink. We have an audio out, which has a little arrow coming up. And we have an audio in, which shows the arrow going in. So if we are plugging in speakers or other devices, we would plug it into the green port, the audio out. And if we had something where we were trying to get sound into the computer, we would use the audio in port. It's slightly different from a microphone port. And there are settings in the computer where you can control the volume of the audio in port much more easily usually than the microphone port. All the way over to this side you'll notice this tall part of the computer and this is a spot to add more ports. So suppose you had a device that did not fit in USB, it wasn't a network, it wasn't an audio device, it wasn't one of these. Maybe there's a brand new connector which is 100 times faster it can transfer data a hundred times faster than any of these. Well, then perhaps there would be a card made that could plug into the inside of the computer and then there'd be a spot right here somewhere where you could plug in your new fast 100 speed faster device. You'll also notice across the top there's some venting. A lot of times the computer will need venting, otherwise it will overheat and stop working. So you can see kind of the venting on the back. That's a tour of the back of a computer.